Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we are back again here with the St. Patrick's Day event. And we are going on with the Leprechaun's Favor 2. And the missions have changed, locations have changed, even though, for the most part, many of the ones that I did before, you can follow them, but they've added a new fish in the Leprechaun's Favor 2. There's more than just the Rowdy Bass in the Leprechaun fish available. There's a new one called the Buzzman Tambakwi. And if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, which I'm sure I probably am, let me know how you actually pronounce it in the comments. But this is going to be cool. This is going to be interesting. Well, we're going to go ahead and go to Naharan River. And we should have everything we need to make it work. Let's go ahead and get to the globe and head to Naharan. All right, now honestly, I don't remember where I caught them. I might have put markers on for this, but honestly, I do not remember where exactly I caught them. But I'm pretty certain that it was at Woody Enchantment over by the stick ups. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So it's been a year. We're going into a private room. Alright, actually before I set all this up completely, I'm going to go ahead and look around and see if I can't find some goodies that I can use. Let me go ahead and practice. I might as well pick that back up again. I'll be back. We need to find gear, guys. We need to find gear. Let's see, what is on this one? We have, I think I have the Irish bit jig let me see make sure I do pretty sure I do yes so we don't need to spend coins on that but this is where it's located if you go to the map it's right here in between these two uh, pegs you just gotta go down that path and find it now I think if I'm not mistaken I might remember that there is one over here. Yep, there it is. Pickled Jamburi Palm Fruit. Oh, cool. No idea what I need that for. Probably those other things, that, those Tambiquis or whatever. That would be my guess. And that was right here at into the rocky blue and we're gonna jump over here because there is a campground over here I think there might be something in the campground unless I'm mistaking that for an, uh, another event here's the campground well maybe there isn't campgrounds here but there's nothing nothing else Eh, it was worth a look. Just check one more place. Yep, that's the only spot, guys. So what we're going to do is go back to where we were. Well, that's not exactly where we were, but close enough. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and set up. Pretty sure that I was catching them fairly easily here. Now we need to get more rowdy bass, more leprechaun fish. So we're going to cast this right out here because I'm pretty sure that's where I was catching leprechauns. Okay, let's throw this one over here close to the stick ups. Well, it didn't take too long. Ah, hell. Not what we're after. Young smallmouth bass. Damn it. Let's try over here closer to the, that. Um, those aren't lily pads or something. Like 
It's not duckweed either. I don't know what the hell you. I don't know what the hell you call it. Oh, damn it! Really? Well, it appears that that was the right place to throw it. Yeah, I'm going to throw this over here. Alright guys, I apologize. I'm having some serious trouble with my dogs acting up. But we have us, I believe, our first of either the rowdy bass. I can't tell just yet. I think it's a rowdy bass just by the amount it's fighting. There he is. First one. And we're getting one on this one too. This is probably a leprechaun. So one of each. Not bad. Well, see, now we got them biting off the appropriate baits for them. <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Let's see here. Let's toss this over here. Wait a minute now. Had this over here is where I had it. Let's see here. Oh shoot. <laughs> I stepped away for just a minute take care of a dog situation and I got a rowdy bass a big one too and here's another one nope it's a leprechaun fish and I am having no problem getting these guys ah are you serious Okay, this is not what I'm after. Probably a young smallmouth or, oh, a gold shiner. Huh. Little bee fish. Well, we're getting another one here, too. Dang on. Ah. Yeah, as soon as you reel them in, you can tell whether or not it's the right kind. A personal record for golden shiner. Huh. 0.654 pounds. Well, I tell you, that I don't think I'm going to put him up on my wall. <laughs> a little bit on the small side, I think. Well, yeah, let's see here. Let's toss this back over here. We're not doing too bad, guys. We're not doing too bad. Let's put that one over here. This one over here. Let's just see what this one does. Ah, okay, we're gonna. I think we're gonna switch locations here because we're getting small fish now. Let's see here. Let's try over here. Well, it is the peak, and because of that, we are going to get other species biting on this pretty heavily. We've just we're more than halfway with with this particular location of having all that we need. Some activity over there. Let's try over there where I saw that splash. Well, hold on. Okay, he's serious. There we go. This is one. 
It's the last of our rowdy bass. That completes the rowdy bass, guys. And we're going to get us a nice pick. Keep him. Where did I catch that? I might as well mark it too. Got plenty of markers. Because I don't know if I'm going to have to come back or not. Let's see here. Ah, now I need two, two more of the leprechaun fish. Boy, that is a hot spot. It really is. Well, that wasn't a rowdy bass this time, though. Small, young smallmouth. I'm going to try to cast it real close to that. Again? That's not big. Yeah, we're getting a lot of the young. Probably can upsize the hook a little bit. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but... <clears throat> Actually, it might. Let's get the... let's put a worm on there. Let's put a worm on there. I don't know how many of these I have left. I've got five. And I'm getting a bite. Very good. Come on. Two more. Whatever it is, it seems to be serious. And it is what we're after. At least maybe. Could also be a rowdy bass too. Keep forgetting that. It is. Well, it'll be an extra bait going. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. that was about, but let's see if we got what we're after here now. Pumpkin seed went after that? <laughs> oh. oh, hell. We're about out of those. Yeah, I just saw a splash. Right there. Take advantage of the splashes, guys. I'm going to continue setting these back out again. I don't have any more drunken worms, so I'm going to have to hope that they bite on these bully grasshoppers. Just 
just need one more. One more. That's it. And then we have completed for this waterway. All right. Come on. Ah. God bless it. I just fed the black crappie. Not what we're after. This might be it, guys. This might be it. He's not fighting as hard. That's him. Leprechaun fish. We got them all. Let's see what this last one is. I doubt it is. It's not... Yeah, this is not what we're after, but we'll see what it is. Trophy black crappie. We got something really fighting on this one. I think it's a bass or something. Yep, young largemouth bass. Good God, I managed to catch something on all, all every one of those. Just about. Yeah, well, maybe not. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pack it up. And we are headed to the Everglades now. I have no idea what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Tem Tambaqui, huh? All right. I think that's something from Marin River. So we're gonna leave. Now, before we go any further, I am gonna check Marin River. Or not Marin River, Maku Maku Lake, and see what species they have there. I see Jacunda, Oscar, Papyra, but not Papyra. <laughs> it's not a fruit. Payara, Croker, Tembiqui, really? Okay, well, it doesn't look like they're found here. So, let's check out my... I keep wanting to say Moron River. <laughs> it's not... Sorry, it's not right, obviously. So, the Tambiqui is a... Is normally on Moron River. Moron? I hope that's right. Moron River. I haven't unlocked that yet, but they are what's known as a giant Paku or Black Paku. So they will go for those fruit that I was fishing with. They also go for peas and corn. So if I run out of them, I've got other things I can use. Probably just won't catch them as easily. So this ought to be interesting. Because this, my friends, is an all-new fish for me. At least in this game, I've caught them in other games. Fishing Sim World, for example. Let's see, do I have that in my inventory before I jump anywhere? I want to make sure that it's in my inventory. Yes, pickled jawari palm fruit. So that's what I want to use. So I guess we head on to the Everglades. Yeah, it seems like most of these locations are locations that don't require a boat. So that, and that opens it up considerably more for people. Now again, before we go any further, we're going to check and see if there are any goodies around. Okay, there's nothing here. Of course, you know it's going to be the last one I check. And they're both right here, of course. 
And there's more drunken worms. Perfect. Now what have we got here? Golden Tune Spinnerbait. That I'm going to need. Perfect. And just to make absolutely 100% without a shadow of doubt certain, we're going to come here and make sure there isn't anything I can gather from here as well. Doesn't look like it. All right. Perfect. Now, the problem I've got is, where am I going to catch these? I don't think they're going to be here in the brackish water. I believe they're going to be in the regular water. I'm going to try it right here. This looks like a good spot for them. The only thing is, guys, I am totally on my own here. All right, we're going to go ahead and place our rod. Ah, I forgot to fish for the snakeheads at the other spot. Daggone it. Yeah, I'm not 100% certain where these are going to be caught, but we're going to go ahead and bait this up as best we can with these pickled fruits. I think they're going to take a little bit bigger hook. We're going to we're going to go with the old failsafe. Two watt is kind of a nice average for big fish. For small fish, I usually go with the number two or number six. Okay, we're going to fruit this one up. This one and this one. That should be interesting. Let's see what we get. I'm going to throw it right over here. It seems like there's more lily pads than there used to be. I saw some activity over here too. I'm going to throw it over there just to see. I can catch five of these. Over here. And. Right over here. All right. So now let's try our clover spoon. Since this is supposed to be snakehead territory, we'll we'll give it a shot. Now guys, I haven't fished for these. So tell me, is the stop and go best? We are getting a bite. First one. All right, here's a new fish, guys. New fish. This probably won't take too long either. Oh, that is a cool one. Look at that. Look at that. That is all, all that is so cool. He's got a horseshoe and a, a hat and some kind of a thing on his stomach. All right, we've got one here. Oh wow. Tipsy catch. Buzzman. I see what they're talking about. Buzzman. Buzzed. I didn't get it at first, but I do now. We got a rowdy bat. A rowdy bass? Off of this?
Bass don't eat fruit. Okay, I want to get... Is that another Rowdy Bass? Well, son of a gun. That's just crazy. Well, maybe that means they'll also bite on the, uh, maybe that means they'll bite on the bully grasshoppers. I mean, it's possible. I wish I had been able to get a picture, though. That's the only thing. Daggone it. Yeah, I think I'm going to treat these like the snake. The snake head's kind of like the bow fin. Well, I could pretty much have anything here. I think it's Rowdy Bass, so... No! It's Channel Catfish. Thanks, guys. Well, at least they gave you 19 of them. Jeez. Since everything seems to feed off of it. Okay, I think this is one of them. Oh, yeah. Of course, I get it all at once. Yeah, this is definitely one here, guys. New personal record. 19 pounds. Yeah, we're going to get a picture of him, though, this time. Well, I wanted a picture. That is a funky-looking fish. <laughs> That's great. That is great. Let's see where I caught that right there. In fact, I think I might go ahead and mark it just to make sure. No, I did not catch it there. Okay, so I caught it over on this side of things, huh? Well, that was a Florida Gar, so this must be him. Buzzman Tabiqui. Tabaqui. That's only two, though, guys. Whoa! There we go. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We have something pretty big here. This might be a snakehead. I don't know. Might be something totally different, too. For it to be putting this much resistance, it's big. 
the heck have I got? I mean, this isn't a Mickey Mouse rod, guys. This is... This isn't the Snoopy rod you used to give your kids to catch bluegill with. <sighs> Oh, it's a snakehead. So these guys are tough. And we got him. All right. And it's a personal record. 25.949 pounds. That's a big fish. It's a big fish. Let's take a look at this fella. Ah, good. And they let me hold him on my... On my lap. So I prefer it when they do that. I wish you could do it with all the fish because you can really see them so much better. Northern Snakehead. So that's my f first one for the season. Gonna mark that. Gonna keep him. And we're gonna go to the map and mark where I caught him. right over there just like I've always caught the bow fin right over on this side well we gotta get two three more of those others we got markers everywhere here guys let's see what all is, what do I have marked now that one I can get rid of I know there's Oscars there it's not a special Oscar. Florida Gar, yeah, I can get rid of that too. So we want that, and we want that for right now. now I knew the Oscars would be, you know, if I know where they are. Florida Gar have always been over on that side of things. A unique one, that would be one worth marking and keeping. So, well, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens here here guys but for some reason this one is kinda been a little too quiet I think I might move it I've seen a ton of activity right over here so I'm gonna toss it right over there and I'm also Gonna try my clover spoon over there as well. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, but let's just give it a try. There we go. Yeah, that seems to be the lot, the spot, guys, for the snakeheads. Oh wow. Well this is good because it's going to do two this is twofold. We're completing a mission and another personal record, 26 pounds, getting XP and we're getting cash. We need to pay for our trip and I think this is the way to pull it off. We should have done that in the Heron River. That was a that was a mistake. Cause I had to have end up having to go back there probably. Well, he went for the twitching just fine. I'm gonna try on this side of things. Okay, we got something, but I don't think it's a snakehead. Butterfly Peacock Bass. And we got another one on number four. I'm hoping it's not a rowdy. We need to complete this mission. Okay, I think it is a Tambiqui. Yeah, look at his little top hat. <laughs> 
And he's a new personal record at 21 pounds. That is such a funky looking fish. <laughs> I'm so glad they added something new. It was some of these missions and events start getting, you know, you've completed them, you've gone through them, you've seen everything. The fact that they've added that, that really helps. Ooh, there's something going on over there. All right, looks like we're getting a bite off the first one. Okay, I know it's one of the specialty ones, that's for sure. It is the right one, finally. Caught it over there where that activity is. One more, guys. This is where I caught the last one. And it is one. Again, sorry about my dogs. This is the last one, guys. This will complete this mission. And it is a personal record. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I wish I could get better lighting for this guy, but we're going to keep him. Get one more picture here for posterior <laughs> and get him better light. Yeah, see, now we can get a really good look there. Actually, you can do one more thing, too, guys, if you press R, actually. And we'll keep him. We have definitely... Leprechaun's favor too. Great Leprechaun is already preparing a reward. 13 Clover Coins. New mission. Three. So we get to go after more of these guys. Hold on. The arrogant Leprechaun, James O'Donnell, made a bet that you will never catch the Rowdy Bass, Buzzman, Tambiqui, and Leprechaun Fish will steal the Leprechaun's gold coins. Shoot, it timed out. Prove to him that he is wrong and get a reward. Oh, I gotta continue making rowdy bass catches here. God, the ones I caught didn't count? Really? And I gotta go to three different places this time. Well, shoot. I'm gonna try to get my trip paid for by catching the snakeheads as much as I can. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and see if that mission has been affected. Yeah, look, see? Two. We gotta get 13 of them here, so we might as well stick around here and catch as many of them as we can. And it looks like, actually, it doesn't matter which location, we catch them at any of these. So we can go ahead and move on. No big deal. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I do apologize for my dogs, but they have been like this all day. But anyway, guys, it's as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.